be attempting to repair my Macintosh 2CX. So, I recently purchased it off of eBay and it and I told the seller to cut out the PRAM battery because I thought it was soldered to the board. However, it I was wrong because unlike the Macintosh SE, this Macintosh 2CX actually had a PRAM battery underneath the um, hard drive and floppy drive bracket and he didn't see it, I didn't see it, I thought that capacitor looked like like a PRAM battery so I told him to cut it out because of the way it was soldered into the board and um, and he did it and I didn't think he would actually do it but yeah so now the computer doesn't work so I, I called up one of my friends and I asked him to, I asked him if I could borrow his so, um, I asked him if he could help me solder the capacitor back in so yeah I'm about to go to, to his house and we're about to solder the capacitor into the computer so yeah um, let's get started right, so I'm at Rockoff's house and um, yeah, he's got this pretty cool place, but I'm not going to show it because he doesn't want his face to be on camera. But anyway, so we have the... Oh, no, it's fine. You can show my place. You just can't show me. Yeah, so, but so he's got this pretty cool place. Let me just... Let me just uh, I got that. Yeah. It's a pretty cool place, as you can see. He's got all these cool models from this anime that he watches, and these are very detailed, and he is doing a pretty good job. He has lots of really cool things, and yeah, and he's pretty excited to be here today, and yeah. Yeah. So basically, anyway... Um, yeah, so put it on the floor now. So we're going to be taking apart out. We're going to be taking apart the Macintosh 2 um, CX because of the capacitor issue. So yeah, I have it in this plastic bag and we're going to solder it back. So these things are very easy to take apart. First things first, you take off the top cover, which looks like this. Very large cover. And from here, you literally have to n use no screwdrivers whatsoever. There's a screw down at the bottom here, but it's not required, and I took it out. So first up, we're going to take out the video card, which is like this. Got the video card. Say, it's for the Macintosh two-page display, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty big, too. Oh, so let's put that in the, the, let's oh, put that in the parts box, box over here. But yeah, so up I'll next we have... I'll just go check if the soldering iron's ready. All right, so up next we have the power supply. Now, there should be a clip should down here somewhere. Ready. I don't know where it is, but... Oh, hey, did you see my uh, soldering, uh, my solder? I don't think so. Uh, no. Remember I had that... I, th uh, I don't know. Solder? It's a, it's kind of gone, but anyway, uh, over and here. So gone. down here, right here, there's this clip that you push forward, and when you push it forward, you ha you're able to... Um, you're able to um, pull the power supply right out without any cables. It connects with these prongs here, and there we go. That's the power supply. Very easily, very easily replaceable. And yeah, so up next we have to remove the um, have to remove this entire bracket here. I'm not gonna. I don't need to. I don't need to separate the hard drive and floppy drive at, at all. So all you have to do is push this clip, um, push this out, and it is free. Probably unplug that LED. That's probably going to be a good idea for the hard drive. And then there should be a few cables underneath this bracket that you have to unplug. So I'm going to unplug the hard drive cable, the floppy drive cable, which is down there. Yeah, I think so. This is probably the hardest part of the part. Charlie, yeah? I think yeah, you might need to hurry up because my soldering iron is burning hot. All right, you might want to unplug it quickly and. Why and unplug it? I mean, it's. I don't know. Hot. I mean, it might be a. It's going to be. If you drag it over here, it's going to be perfect. And if you find my solder, but yeah, so that's that. If you find my out. solder, I'll be able to fix your. I uh, you just unplug it for now because it's a bit scary, and also. No, it's okay. It's also, okay. it'll have it's enough time to. Um, I just need to find the solder. Anyway. All right, so we got this cable out. That's for the floppy drive. From oh, CD. cool! This is for for the hard drive, largest riveted cable you've ever seen. Up next, we have to take out the speaker, and by doing that, you just. Tilt it forward. Well, actually, let's take this LED out as well. So, first up, you have to unplug it, and by pressing a clip, I think it's this. You have to. Well, actually, where is it? It's something that you have to un unclip somewhere. I think it might be. Uh. Try not to yeah, it's that. You press oh. that up, and then you can. It just tilts forward, and now the speaker is out. And then over here we have the power. And over here we have the um, restart and interrupt switches. And you have to very carefully pull these out because you do not want to damage them. And there you go. That's out. This is probably the most fragile piece of the entire operation. And finally, you have the motherboard. Now, the motherboard is probably the easiest thing to take out in this entire build. All you have to do is push it forward. And there you go. The motherboard is out. 
So because the motherboard is out, this will get, help us get um, put this capacitor back in. It goes here. It's co sort of connected in a way like a PRAM battery, except the PRAM battery is right here. It used to be there, and luckily it didn't leak at all. And looking at the board, it's quite dusty. I'll probably clean it after I solder the capacitor back in. But yeah, it works really well. Okay. So yeah, now that that is out, we can solder. We can now solder the um, capacitor back to the board. That is, if you help me find the solder. All right. So we'll be back I in a second. I had like ten seconds. After much concentration and about uh, twenty minutes, we finally put the capacitor in. I know it's a bit messy, but there's not going to be anything going over it, hopefully, and this should work, I hope. Yeah, this should work, but um, thank you, Roghoff, for everything you've done. And we weren't able to film any of it because we just needed a lot of concentration, and um, um, his face was too close to it, so I wouldn't have been able to do it anyway. But, yeah, so we're going to start um, reconnecting everything back to the um, back into the computer, so... Uh, first up, we have to put it in, like so. Is that the right orientation? Yeah, it is. I think. Yeah, it is. Because the ports are on this side. And yeah, okay. You have to jiggle it around a bit. There we okay. go. That should be good, because I see the holes and everything is lined up, like this one. Yeah. Anyway, so up next, we have to... Um... Speaker? Yeah, speaker, right. So the speaker goes in here. So there are two areas here that go like this, but you have to like tilt it as you put it in. So that it, because this holds the board in, so this is an important component, and then you plug it in, like so. Speaker's in securely. Up next we have um, the, power, the um, reset and um, interrupt switches. I don't know what the interrupt switch does, but whenever I press it on my Macintosh Classic, my other computer, it brings up a terminal and the restart button restarts the computer when it freezes or something. But yeah, so I got the hard drive floppy cable. Okay, so this is usually the, this is the part where I have to have my concentration because this might seem easy for most people. This might seem easy, but it's actually very hard because you have to get it in the right way and it and everything's always in the way. And the, this computer was made to be compact because its predecessors were the Macintosh 2VX and the 2X. Those things are like beasts. You have to, they're like ginormous and this is, and this is futuristically, and this was futuristically small for the time, which is why, which is why it was so much more successful than they were even though it still had the same price of $5,000 at the time, which is about, which is around um, $10,000 today, which is about the, the price of the Lisa. But I don't, I don't know. Computers were more important at this time, so I guess more businesses bought it. And according to the sticker, this used to belong to a hospital in Texas. So, yeah. Let that sink in. But, yeah, this entire bracket comes here. I'm going to plug in the floppy cable. What's kind of annoying is that some of this, the floppy cable is very short and it's very, and you need to be very concentrated to You might be able in. to buy like a floppy cable extension or something, right? Nah, it's not worth it. I mean, you could get one on eBay if you're still going Probably, if you want but to. I don't know if it's even possible. Are you going to even put that on this LED or uh, not? Yeah, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to. It's the hard drive indicator. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's kind of important. Yeah. To know if the hard drive is working or not. Should I help? Uh, yeah. It goes in here, right? Yeah, it goes in here. Yes, it, it has to make a click. To yeah, it has to make a click so that's firmly in. Hard drive light. Actually, I, I'm not gonna plug it into the hard drive yet because I have to get this thing here. I think you're supposed to plug the LED before you actually put in the hard drive, right? I mean, wouldn't that be a little easier? Eh. But yeah, so that that's in. I hope. I'm gonna plug this in here so that I can reach it. Before. What about this? That oh that I'm gonna that's I'm probably gonna put in last. That goes in I believe this way. Yeah. Usually you have to hear a click when you put this these things in. There we go. That's it firmly in. And finally we have the last giant rivet cable for the hard drive. This is where the data goes through the main board and the hard drive. There we are. So. Hey, you forgot the power. Yeah, so the this is probably the easiest thing. <coughs> this is probably one of the easiest things to put in. Because this requires no cables because everything goes through here. 
over there. And it, right. and it connects to these contacts there. So I have, <coughs> what's kind of annoying is I have to um, put push these up as I'm putting this in. But it kind of slides in like a drawer. So let's see, where is this? It should be like a, a rail somewhere. Well, here we are. Yeah. Here the rail on the side and then you just have to I don't even know if this hard drive's bracket is firmly in yet. Oh, there we are. There, that's the problem. Hard drive bracket is now firmly in. Yep, there we are. That's the click of approval. Anyway, so put I have to slide this in. There we are. All right, so continuing. So the heart, this is in. So now the last thing we have to do is put in the video card. Pro this is probably the least important component because the computer will still work without it, but you can't plug in a monitor for it. But technically, I don't have a monitor, so there's not really any point. But all you have to do is you just have to... So do you have all the cables for it, the monitor and all? No, I don't have a monitor or monitor cables for it, but hope I was hoping that you would have um, a uh, monitor. Uh, no. I guess not. But yeah, so now that the I gotta buy that monitor. But now that the two VX has been assembled, it is time to plug it in and test it out. All right, so now we have plugged in the two VX and the keyboard, and as you can see, this is the capacitor. You can monitor this just in case it explodes. So yeah, we're gonna turn it on in three, two, one, and hmm. I'm awesome. Nothing's happening still. Well, but do you hear that? What? The fan. Mm. And the light. Yeah. And the light, too. Oh, it's working. It's alive. Is the... The capacitor is, the, is, is alive, the, I don't too. See, I don't hear the hard drive going. I just hear the fan. That's uh, a... That's, this well, is that's a, not I a mean, problem with the, the capacitor, is it? The capacitor works, though. Right? Yeah, it should, but... But apparently the hard drive is the hard drive is supposed to work in this apparently, but but maybe I don't it's really hear quiet. It. Maybe it's really no. Quiet. It's there's no way it's that quiet. I don't hear it though. One second, hold up. Um, I just need. Oh, what's that? Where do I keep my screwdrivers? Um... I don't know if it's oh, working. Screwdriver. But the computer works though. Um, I but this can't... is the same result that I had earlier with the with, with this with computer. The, with the damaged I mean, capacitor. Was the capacitor damaged when you? Yeah, I mean, so I mean, did the problem, I fail? I don't know. Um, I think we succeeded. the The capacitor is definitely back in the computer, but the seller said that he could hear the hard drive when it was on. Usually, the usually the indicator light is supposed to flash, and the hard drive is supposed to make a popcorn noise. But I don't know if this. I don't. I, I Maybe think it's the, been fixed thoroughly. No, there's so no thoroughly. Way. Eh. But I I don't know if this is a fail or a success, but as you but as you can see the the hard drive indicator is on. It's just on, but usually it's either supposed to flash or the or the and the hard drive's supposed to make a noise. But I don't know. I don't know if this works. Maybe I don't. It might just be the hard drive and the seller lied to me. But I, but hey, I guess it works now. I mean, I soldiered it in. Like yeah. perfectly, and we check the orientation too. Yeah. All right. I guess this was a success. I I guess you can judge that yourself. But yeah. So now that we have um, done this, it is time to end the video. So to make a long story short, I ended up I ended up sending the computer back to the seller because to be honest, I don't have enough time and money to get it re repaired. It's probably some other problem because we did solder it back together properly. Maybe he didn't do it properly. Um, it's, it's um, I mean, he said that it, it was in the same state as it was when he bought when I got it from him. He just didn't describe it so well to me, and that's kind of my fault. And um, I know, and it's kind of hard to explain, but I ended up returning it. He took it. I got my money back, and it was just too complicating. And um, yeah, so that that's the end of that. So yeah, so that will do it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you want me to do next, and. Donate to my website, link is in the description below, and I um, still have one computer left for sale. I recently sold my Macintosh Plus for about $20 because I lost a lot of profit from a shipping miscalculation. So if you want to buy my Macintosh 8500-180, which is still for sale on eBay, um, link is in the description below if you're interested. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.